Welcome back to this garage and Judgment Day is creeping up on us. Volvo out there, it is going to its uh, inspection on Monday. Today is Saturday. So I've been going through it, made sure everything is up to par, at least now. Uh, I've seen a lot of things on this thing is brand new. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but the last time this had an ex inspection was in 2002 and 1500 kilometers away so what I found that is it was it had its inspection and then a month and a half later it was parked and the plates taken off of it and just stopped being used and that is 1500 kilometers ago so uh, it hasn't gone that far since last one I mean it is almost 20 years since it had an inspection but all the parts are pretty much brand new. Even the exhaust is brand new from the middle of the car back. It has 20 years of sitting on it, but since it hasn't broken yet, nothing has broken yet, I'm pretty sure it won't do it for the inspection, like the Granada did. So right now I'm slowly working on getting the alloy wheels painted, because while they were primered, I've shown it in a previous episode, I think maybe episode 3, but I've been working on those now. Two of them are painted, waiting for them to cure, while the other two are in the sun, kind of um, defrosting a little bit. Uh, they've been laying outside for all winter, and they've been covered in snow. I got two of them cleaned up now and ready to, well, got them painted. And uh, the other two are sitting in the sun, thawing. Right over there. Just in the opening. And uh, these two have been painted. Uh, this time I used metallic silver uh, wheel color. So they are a little bit more sparkly than the um, last paint was. The last paint was a bit more uh, just flat gray that I painted this wheel in. But I decided to respray now that I have more of the metallic. So I resprayed this wheel. Also sprayed this wheel. And then I'm going to do those two that are over there. Then call it quits for a day, and then on Monday take the car to inspection and see if it passes. So now most of the wheels have had at least one coat. Well, all of them have had at least one coat. Uh, these two have gotten two coats, and it's about time to give the two last one their second coat too. So you can see now this is a lot more metallic-y than it was before. And uh, here's one that's had one coat. They have a lot of blemishes in them. I mean, you can see some cuts and bangs every here and there. And I think it's... Which one is it? It's probably that one that has a cut in it and uh, in the edge. But I just need these to look, you know, better than the dead. Because you walk out here. I'm going to send these wheels, these rims, with the car. These are the summer tires that are coming onto those uh, alloys. If you look here, these are really bad. These are the um, winter wheels. And, uh, well, you can tell that those rims have been out in the winter because they're not nice. So I'm going to put these wheels on summer tires, and then the other ones are just going to follow in the car. Probably without any tires on them, because those winter tires over there, those are ancient. Probably from the 90s, which means they're rock hard, and you shouldn't use them on snow, like I'm doing. So, I'll see you Monday when we take the car to get inspected. Alright, so it's Monday. We are uh, headed out to the shop to uh, get this thing inspected. Along with the Honda, actually, because that's heading in front of me. Uh, so far, I think it's all good. I know I said that before with the Granada, but this has a lot of new parts on it. It's been sitting almost for as long. But I don't think the parts will get to wear by the time we get there. First now I noticed that the steering wheel is a bit cocked to the right, so it has some adjustment needed. 
but that is not a defect. However, the uh, light at the dash, the one that tells me that a light bulb is out, is still glowing. And uh, I can't find anyone that's not glowing. So I don't know which one that is. So uh, hopefully they'll find out that all the lights work, except that thing's still just lighting up like it's Christmas. So, see you after the appointment. Well, that didn't go as well as we wanted it. Well, that didn't go as well as we wanted it. I'm on my way back home now, and um, we got the verdict. Uh, I got three uh, number two um, defects, which is, uh, well, the way you divide them up is one, two, and three. So three is that car is not moving on anything other than a transporter. And two is fix this and it'll be approved. And one is, well, this is a problem, but we'll approve it anyway. So I got three twos, which is one, the um, motor for uh, the uh, washer fluid was not running when you tried it. But I think that's because um, I might have plugged in the wrong lead into it. Because there are two contacts just, you know, dangling around around it. And I took one of them and put them in and that might not be the right one. So I'm gonna try and um, swap those around and see if that works. And then it was the strip tops had uh, the vulcanizing around the center had uh, split. So, uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to fix that. Uh, replace the two strut tops so we can get this thing approved and uh, sold. Which ultimately is the entire point of this series. Fix it, sell it. So, so now we're just going home and getting this thing fixed. The uh, few issues that we know of, well, they're kind of still here, but we'll see what happens when we get, you know, a little bit further into it. It has turns into still diesel when you shut it off. I don't know why, because I thought that problem was gone, but apparently it isn't. So, that is going to be it for this time. We will check back in with you later with... A new episode of Bought to Sell 1983 Volvo 240. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you later.